sports side with the pilots rolls on. It's an exciting time at the University of Portland with the amount of construction going on around campus. Part of that is the renovation of the pilot house, which is being transformed into a dedicated social space for the entire UP community. Right now, the pilot house is home to the campus bookstore and a dining area for students and staff. When it is reopened, improvements to the pilot house will provide entertainment, pub style dining, and recreational opportunities to enrich student life on the bluff. The new pilot house will open this fall. This year you will see two new faces on the bench for UP men's hoops. Head coach Eric Reveno has added Kramer Knudsen and Mitch Johnson to his staff. You may recognize the name Kramer Knudsen from his four years on the bluff from 2007 to 2010. But he's not the only one with ties to coach Reveno. Mitch Johnson played college ball at Stanford from 2005 to 2009, where he was recruited by none other than Coach Rev. Growing up in the Pacific Northwest, I used to come to Portland all the time myself for AAU tournaments and games and to come watch the Blazers play. So the opportunity to still stay close to home and to coach with uh, Coach Reveno, who uh, recruited and coached me in college is a, is a great opportunity. I've known Mitch since he was in high school when I started recruiting him up in Seattle at O'Day uh, to come to Stanford. And I think all those experiences that Mitch had as a student athlete, as a leader on, a, on some championship teams will help him now with us. He's very good with X's and O's and, and drill work and being on the floor. I think he'll be a tremendous asset in practice and in games. The past three years I coached uh, high school AAU travel ball up in Seattle the past two years with Seattle Rotary in the Nike EYBL League. There's a lot of transferable skills I think that you get from sports and especially basketball that can lead to the business world even but especially coaching and then being able to relate and connect and communicate with your players and that's something that I'm going to try to do here at the University of Portland. Anytime you have the opportunity to bring back one of the winningest players in pilot history uh, you got to do it. Kramer Knudsen, he was a very disciplined student athlete, very organized. Uh, he's going to bring that to his job now as director of basketball operations. I'm really excited to be part of the staff here at UP now. The past four years I've been playing professionally. It almost feels like I haven't left, so I have a unique insight into to how things run here, how we do things. If the guys have a question, I feel like no one else in the world to go to except for me. Portland Women's Basketball Sophomore Center Sarah Zaragoza made the Spanish under 20 national team and has been competing with them in the European Championships this summer. Through July 8th, Spain was undefeated. Zaragoza will return to Portland at the conclusion of the tournament. She appeared in 30 games as a freshman for the Pilots last season, starting in 18 of those contests. Five from beyond the arc, and now Cassandra Thompson unable to convert. Sarah Zaragoza, though, offensive rebound and put back. Zaragoza shot 46% from the field last year and averaged 3.2 rebounds per game. Up next on Port Side, the women's tennis team heads over to the I'm leaving tomorrow. What do you say when I'm gone? When I'm gone. 